This time my memory ran, ran out, but I managed to dump it all back into the computer. So I know I left off in this doodle. Yeah, it's just basically a Jataka based like doodle. And this sort of reminds me of Kelsey. Random outfit. Oh, and it just turned 4 o'clock. Yippee! And then a random dark doodle. Then I was like, hmm. Wait. <coughs> the arc gonna kill a kill outfit. How's that going to work? Well, I didn't actually put him in the kill a kill outfit. I just got some inspiration from it. Oopsie. Oh, wait. Guess who's back? Back again. Mimi's back. Tell a friend. So, when I was hanging out with her, mainly working on the documentary, she doodled her OCs, Rose and Azul. I had to write down their names so I will so I'll remember. Time 147 PM 4 slash 25 slash 20 2014. I remember that day was super warm. Hashtag the struggle is weird. Is the struggle is real. I almost said weird. Sorry. Hashtag the struggle is real. It looks really good on camera. Hooray! Next page. Same face syndrome. Oh no. Gotta hold it up so I can actually see. So, I just got done testing these 0 0.5 erasable pens that I got at Blick. I never realized how thin these pens are. I doodled a random outfit for Dractica. I'm watching The Amazing Spider-Man. A trance doodle. So yeah, that's these guys. A profile view to test the, the green. The green's a little laggy. It needs some work. It's hard to erase the guidelines without, with erasable pens. Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. Oh, this this giant lizard. Actually, after seeing the amazing Spider-Man, the lizard man inspired me to doodle Nathaniel's Draconian form. Too bad I can't doodle front views of Draconians that well. And this is how it came out. Rawr. And then, a chibi Dratica just to fill in this little piece of space. Yep, that's this page. What is next? Oh, I think I remember this page. My shoulder's itchy. I try to do a back view of in pen. A backside in pen. But I'm not really good at back poses. And there's me. Shoot. I better not start sweating. I better not start sweating. Having my cosplay underneath all this is a test. Oh, that day, um, I could explain. I really wanted to walk around in my cosplay, but I know I couldn't actually do that because it was weird having me cosplay in the middle of the school year or near the end of the school year. So I had the cosplay on and I put giant sweatpants and my giant gray sweater over there. And I had, I was wearing it during class. Yeah, I'm wearing my cosplay underneath a giant hoodie and sweatpants. What I know so far, his feet are sort of killing me already. Actually, that was my fault because I was carrying heavy things. Solution? Pack light. It was like a field test. And there's me doodling the doodle notebook. As you can tell, that little corner is actually Elsa. And then there's me, and then there's this lame back doodle I was doodling. Let's see, what else do I know so far? Knee straps are loose, they keep shifting to the far end of my legs. Solution, paper clips and strings. Testing mobility, 4 out of 5. Heat resistance, 3 out of 5. Ability to go to the bathroom, question mark out of 5. Yeah, I was in the bathroom for a very long time on the second day. Otherwise, sky blue head looking up. Then, little mini 
random Dratica doodle. Personal note, I love doodling random outfits for my OCs. So here's a random outfit for Trance. You guys can barely see his lines in the black parts. And a lame random outfit for Chicago. Actually, I kind of like this how the sleeves turned out. Oh, do you guys know? Did you guys know that this flag actually shifts from a flag to a scythe? I almost said pendant. Pendant flag. Pendant flag turns to a scythe. You just wave it at a certain point, and boom, it becomes a scythe, a weapon. And then this ninja thing, I could explain. A ninja from a classmate's film about a ninja getting rid of technology so people could actually talk to each other. I tried to redraw that ninja from my mo in my mind, but it turned it didn't turn out the way it did. But I still like it. It was an interesting interesting film. Next page. <coughs> okay, I could explain. Holy crap! I just had a memory attack, more like a flashback. For some reason, I suddenly remembered the show Total Drama Island. I remember this character, Duncan, was my favorite character and my first cartoon crush. I used to doodle him a lot be right before I started my freshman year of high school. And the proof is in that purple doodle notebook. It's actually, I found this notebook somewhere in my cabinet and I know, and I just know that's the notebook before this blue doodle notebook. This is basically pre-doodle notebook. Old doodles. Old doodles! So, am I gonna go crazy and to doodle characters from T12 Drama Island and Mystyle for fun to ease my boredom and culture racing media? The answer to that was actually no. And this was done in pen. And then, random Duncan doodle. So. Alright. Random doodle based off of Delcia. That's actually an old Dretzconian OC. Yeah, this pre-doodle notebook is actually the last time I ever drew my, I mean, my old Dretzconian OCs all at once before I started shifting into anime. So, good feel but heavy to use. Random girl doodle test just to test out the 0 0.3 pencil. Thank you, Bailey Creations. I really like that pencil. Great for precise lines. My arm's itchy. I actually like this random doodle for him. Last night I was having ideas for making random outfits based off my old Draticonian OCs. This one's based off Electrode. I like it. Looking at the outfit, looking at the outfit. I just like his top a lot. Shows his nipples. Then, a random body if I were to animate? I don't know. Next page. Award for the worst profile view of Jean in the student notebook goes to this one. I tried to hand copy a Jean profile view from Joanna the Mad. That's an artist in Tumblr. And I failed. The a quick the hunting party ugly freak with the sword from the, the photo shoot. Only Lincoln Park fans will know what I'm talking about. And then I drew her again, but it feels like something's disproportionate about it. Is her leg short? Oh god, I hate I hate it when I cast shadows. Let's see. Yeah. Oh no, that's why. I actually made Where's the laser? This leg too short. That's my that was my problem. Nathaniel Doodle. I think I was sort of fading away from the Nathaniel Doodles. And then Yamakure profile view. And this a robot cyber I a cyborg Chicago. A cybrid Chicago. Or an attempt at it. Let me go closer so you guys can see. 
see the intricate details that went along with all this. I suck at that hand so much. An attempt. So what happened was, I had this thought last night, well at the time, where Shikago got severely hurt from a Sears Tower attack and had major reconstructive surgery. And I sort of also had the got the idea from, I wonder if I still have it. Let's see, Sands of the Sea, Assassin's Creed, character songs, nope, I, aha, reanimation. If I were to color or and redesign this, I would make it based off of this. Yep, that's all I want to say. I could get more ideas from this. I love basing Chicago off of hybrid theory. Putting these all away, neatly, neatly, neatly. And away it goes. I don't kind of want a milk dud, but I'll have one after this part. So that's it for this page. Oh, this one. So, note to self. Find better shoulder ideals. Still suck at doodling hats. See through. Random outfit for fedora. I'll zoom in closer. Yep, good scanning complete. Oh, Shikago and Trance are, have concerned thoughts about each other. Oh, I hope one day people will cosplay them or write fan fictions of them. I'd love to read that. I wish, Chikako's thoughts says, I wish you would tell me what you're hiding. I wish I could tell him, but I'm afraid of hurting him in the end. Oh, this doodle. So, it's a random Mirai Sky doodle. What I wrote was, what kind of shoulders are these? Still clueless when it comes to doodling hoods, but I kind of like how this head turned out. And I was using this same shading style Earl, from earlier in the doodle notebook with the Mirai Sky pen doodle. Oh, sorry, I'm shaky. Love the hand, but hate the thumb. Still having some foreshortening trouble. I tried. I tried to recreate a similar shading style I sort of made earlier in this doodle notebook with Mirai Sky I already mentioned. Otherwise, that's the whole Mariah Sky outfit. Oh, bare knees shown. Just writing some notes. I really like her face. Good, you better zoom in and focus. I got the idea for a short haired Chicago from Lucy Slow's live stream. I really liked how she made. She goes here. Even though it wasn't perfect, I was like, oh, this is really cool if he had if he gets a haircut. I saw how Lucy Slow drew Trance's scar and took note of it. Yep. A random anatomy practice thing. And this oh. I'll go to Usagi Usagi san last. What have you done to me? I'm starting to like these tops for the males. Random guy doodle. But I don't like the legs. What kind of legs are those? Alright. I thought this was going to be a random guy head doodle. Turns out it's Usagi-san. I think this is the best Usagi-san in the whole doodle notebook. Is that right, Usagi-san? Pick, 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 pick. Misaki. Next page. Oh, this is where I went kill a kill crazy with dark. Otherwise, more Chicago and trance doodles. Yay for Chicago. I love you. Oh, I really like how I did the wrinkles on his hair. I mean, on his jacket. What hair? What am I talking about? So, yay for Chicago! Oh, if you guys haven't noticed the things I've done on the hair shine, on the hair, it's sort of like my way of doing hair when it comes to dueling. 
hair shines when it comes to dueling. Yeah. And then, trance. My foreshortening still sucks. The color looks a little glary. Let me just zoom in. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep, that's the whole... This top half is just basically Chicago and trans. And the bottom half is dark, dark, and kedzy. So, damn, I'm imagining a kill, I'm imagining a kill a kill inspired outfit for dark. I could make a few more attempts for fun. I need to make the spikes more sinister. I have no idea what's in store for this bottom half. For his bottom half, oh. Let me just zoom in on the door. Woohoo! Then another attempt at the kill a kill out uh, at a kill a kill inspired outfit for dark. I didn't watch the anime back then, but I recently finished it. It was so good. Then, damn, this outfit for Kedzi is sexy. Or maybe I could use that outfit for later purposes. Like an ultimate form or a promotion like thing. Ooh, a shadow promoted to a guardian angel. Actually, no, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> I need some water. I really need some water. My throat feels dry. That helps a lot. <coughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. Random guy doodle. I think I was trying to, I think this is a, a knockoff of my Dratzikonian doodle electrode. Yeah, it's a knockoff. Knockoff, knockoff, knockoff. Alright, so there's Dratzikon profile view. And then I drew myself saying, here's a pie, have a nice day. That was actually a Snapchat reply for Jonah Scott. Yeah, I have him in Snapchat. Oh crap, I should have not said that. I should have not said that. Then people are going to say, what's your Snapchat? What's your Snapchat? I'm not... Uh, I'll reveal it later in life. Sorry. Bleh. Maybe some pen doodles will work today. So, I made this dark Kill a Kill inspired outfit. I remember what was happening at that time in my lit class. These two guys were telling me to draw them, draw them, and I kept saying no. And I'm so glad the last day of class I managed to sit myself in the front, away from them. And then a blue OP Freak doodle. I just found my blue pilot easy touch medium point pen that I thought I lost a long time ago. Ah, uh, yes, that sword. That brings me back memories. A closer look at the outfit. I really like the sword. I may need to go back with Mike's horns on this. Hunting. Wait, I may need to go back on Mike's with Mike's horns on this. The hunting party is more spikier than this. Yeah, I may need to tweak the A Thousand Suns armor. Actually, it's the Iridescent armor, but same thing. Yeah, I'm just rambling on and on. A blue dark doodle. It's a pretty bad one. Similar to that really bad Yamakura doodle. The sketchy one, the scribble one. What's this? Started off as an angry eye for fun. Oh, this duel. I've been recently. What does that say? Have I been recently obsessed with dark? Oh, that sticker was already there before I drew dark. I think I might. I may be. I might have been. And I hate this page. I messed up on the background a lot. I had no idea what was happening. So there's Trans and Chicago both inside Trans's Halcyonic cart. God damn it. 
Open up, Trance. He has to know. He must know. And I was just doing the hollow buff pattern again. I don't like the colors on it. It was it's pretty bad. And this was done on this date. Shiny. Okay. More doodles. I like this dark. I just like his face. Best dark face goes to this one. I should make rewards or something. It's an okay profile view of dark. I just don't draw him in this side that often. Because his bangs cover it. His fringe covers it. Using a pen to trace over a profile view. I was testing that pen. A Chicago profile view. I was using the rainbow pencil on this one. Puck? I don't know. Alright, so I can finally explain these two doodles. Do you guys notice something? I have swapped Chicago and Trance's clothes, and this is what happened. I really like Chicago and Trance's clothes, but Trance and Chicago's clothes, not so much. I think I've made. I think I made his legs a little too short. Let's see. Starting from the crotch to his knee, knee shit. And then, for some stupid reason, I tried to combine both of them. Guess what? It did not work pretty well. What the hell did I do with his eye? I don't know what I did. It's really, really bad. Yeah, at least I would know not to do it again. Wait, this was an excuse to get out of black 0.5 Y and C gel pen. Stylus pen. Oh! It's just a certain pen I bought at an art store. I wanted to test it out by tracing them. By tra Yeah, I don't know. Well, you guys get the idea. Next. Yamakure. Rawr. And then, this whole page is a base idea of a new Mids to Midnight outfit. Uh, let me go back to Mids to Midnight. Beagle. So, in the album, well, album cover, they were wearing leather clothes and sunglasses at the photo shoot. I wanted to do something like that, but I later learned that it's lame and boring. Even though, I did learn a few things about wrinkles and such. A few things. So, first attempt. Then the profile view. An armband. Oh, did I not trace this boot? Then another attempt. And another attempt. Let me start from the, over here. But yeah, I kind of wanted to put a tattoo of the album cover on her neck, on her collarbone. Kind of reminds me of Train Hartnett and what's her name from Divergent? Beatrice Pryor. I wish someone on the pants because I really like how I did her pants. Then some random body for animation. I know. What I learned from animation is keep things simple. Keep things simple. All night extended club version. Find that song. Then a lame Dratica doodle. Took me a while to do it. A quick doodle of a new idea for a better Mids to Midnight outfit. Fail. I messed up. Thoughts. To remake the Mids to Midnight outfit for LP Freak, I would need le a leather jacket and pants and sunglasses and the cover tattoo on her collarbone. That part reminds me of the diversion. Oh yeah, I was sort of reading that back then. God damn it, phone, go away. Hang on for a second. 
call from 800 service. Nope. Oh. Happy 7th anniversary of Mids to Midnight. And happy 7th anniversary of me becoming a Linkin Park fan. Oh man, I made... I made Joe short and stubby. Nope. Next page is... Just really random. So... First attempt. Oh, I just realized this part's running out. Second attempt. I said basic. Third attempt. When all S and K just for fun. Fourth. I said fail. Next. Obviously. Recycling an old outfit from the Blue Doodle Notebook. If you guys seen that, then you know what I'm talking about. I tried to combine the two old outfits. It's too edgy for mids to midnight. And then, the last one. Maybe get rid of the red. Too much red feels too dark. That's what I said. Yep, that's that page. I think I'm gonna have to stop here, just in case. This is basically at ASEM time when I drew it. So, probably this is a part 7 now. Next part's a part 7. Goodbye.